Sebastian here for Comic Impact, bringing you another impactful origin, and this week we're going to be talking about two pint-sized DC Comics characters, Sugar and Spike. Sugar Plum and Cecil Spike Wilson were created by Sheldon Mayer in 1956. His run on the series ran from 1956 through 1971, a whole 98 issues. Unfortunately, after 1971, Sheldon Mayer got cataracts and uh, had to stop for a while. But once the cataracts were removed, he returned to the book. Unfortunately, a lot of the post-1971 stuff uh, was never released here in the United States. Another interesting fact about the series, Sheldon Mayer had a contract with DC that only he was allowed to write his characters. Another creator at DC had the same kind of clause, James Robinson with Starman, and uh, fortunately we can't talk about him here, but that's for another show. Starman's one of my favorite characters of all time, and probably one of the few I would ever cosplay if I was brave enough. Sheldon Mayer series was very, very beloved, and of course, as far as I see it, one of the early prototypes for a series like Rugrats. So definitely, if you love the show Rugrats on Nickelodeon, you could probably try and uh, pick some of these up. Either try and get really old copies of these single issues, or I would recommend you know hopping on Amazon and maybe picking up a couple used copies of uh, the Archives Volume 1. It's really the best way you can read them. So who are Sugar and Spike? Well, they're two toddlers on their everyday misadventures. Of course, they've got their cast of characters, their uncle who brings them gifts, has fun times, other babies from within the universe. One interesting thing, though, is that these babies can talk. They can't talk like you and I. They talk in baby talk, and they can talk to other babies. Not only can they talk to other babies, they can talk to baby animals. See where I'm going with the similarities to Rugrats? Like I said, if you love Rugrats, go try and find some Sugar and Spike. Not only are Sugar and Spike a beloved classic DC Comics character, and while a lot of people didn't get the opportunity to write them, they did make a lot of appearances in other books. They've appeared in books like Wonder Woman, Batman Brave and the Bold, Show uh, Showcase, Kingdom Come. I believe they're in a TV set in Kingdom Come. Uh, they also made a brief cameo in uh, the Batman Brave and the Bold animated series as a logo for a diaper company in the show. Really fun stuff. I think it was the Siege of Starro, another really great episode. Well, that's going to be it for the brief rundown on Sugar and Spike. Like I said, if any of that interests you, the best way to check it out would be either to hit your local LCS or uh, mycomicshop.com, see if you can find, you know, not so great condition copies of the series, or check out the Archives Edition. Yeah, it's a bit pricey, brand new, something around $60, but you can get used copies for around 30 40 bucks, and uh, I would recommend it, especially for little kids. I talk about kids' comics all the time. I think kids' comics can be pretty great things like uh, Adventure Time, Regular Show, uh, Squirrel Girl, just a lot of really, really fun stuff. So please check it out, and if you like this video and want to see more, hit the like, give us a subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you want to see more characters, let me know. Last week somebody uh, was unhappy I was doing a lot of mainstream characters, but uh, unfortunately deleted his comment, and it also didn't leave me some suggestions. Hey, come on, I can't help you if you won't help me. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week.